where Michael Schumacher has won the first Grand Prix of the season, but uh, tragically a track marshal has uh, lost his life. Uh, Craig Pollock, uh, top man at uh, BAR, is uh, joining us now. Uh, Craig, Jack Villeneuve, of course, your man was very much involved in, in that incident, and I would think there's a deep sense of shock down there. I thought at the end of the race that we were going to be celebrating something, and uh, it's never nice when somebody dies. I would just like to send sincere condolences to the family. Uh, there's not much we can say because we don't know the full circumstances uh, round about the accident, exactly how it happened and why it happened, but it's just a very, very sad thing when somebody dies. But uh, just like uh, Paolo Gislimberti at Monza, it seems to be in a tyre that has caused the marshal's death. That shouldn't happen, really. Well, unfortunately, uh, it is a dangerous sport. The tyre did come off the car. Um, obviously, the car was fully legal. It's just, it is very sad. Any lessons? I know it's very, very early indeed, but any conclusions that you can draw at this stage? I think it's impossible to draw conclusions if you don't have the full facts. But uh, I think at the moment, certainly what our team are doing, we've reunited everybody. They've been fully informed that this has happened. And uh, they'll be thinking about this poor person who's not there anymore. So I'm thinking about the family. We appreciate you joining us. Thanks very much indeed, Craig. Thank you. Let's just have a look at uh, the accident itself, Tony. And when it happened, we saw it, it was obviously a high impact crash. Massive impact. They're doing about 170 odd miles an hour down there in seventh gear. We heard Villeneuve talking about seeing Ralph there in the middle of the track and uh, Villeneuve having to decide which way to go. He chose the option in the fraction of a second, clipped the back of the Williams BMW. And how the car didn't go over as well, I have no idea. But the point that we need to talk about now is the double wheel tethers which have been put in place. If in fact, it was a wheel that hit the marshal. There's double wheel tethers in place this year, and it's designed to, meant to be designed to stop them coming off. Mark? I think it's two schools of fault on that. I mean, they've, uh, years ago, there was no tethers, and at some point, the wheel would come off, and it would come off very quickly. Now there's some possibility that the tether's in place, and maybe it restricts the wheel on the car for maybe too long, and then when it does come off, it comes off at extra velocity. But this, be clear, we don't know whether the wheel was involved. Jim, all to say on that is that it's, it's nine millimetres, these two sort of ropes, if you like, which steel hawser type ropes, which go all the way through the wishbones, then are anchored deep down in the chassis. If they're pulled on together, it's a resistance of something like about nine tonnes, which it should be able to resist. And the second one, they should be in place. But as, as some of the mechanics pointed out to me, when the suspension gets sheared, it can also shear through the cords as well. And that could have happened we can only speculate at this point it's the sheer speed that we've seen here this weekend in any way to blame no no I mean that, that's just racing I mean you know technology progression um, there's a reduction in downforce there's less drag cars cleaner through the air there's more grip from tires there's more speed but that's an accident which could have happened whether you were doing a hundred miles an hour and maybe not 150 but the consequences are grave and um, you know it's certainly a tough thing let's reflect